Hi guys, welcome back to my channels. Um, tonight I'm showing you after a long day today um, and showing you that this morning how I did my makeup. Well, it's time to remove it out of my skin. So I'm going to show you what I use and after that I'll show you what skincare I'm using for today. So to clean my face off, I use this thing and um, like I told you some of the stuff I buy in Sally's Beauty Supplies. And this is something new. You can see how much I've been using it. I like it. It's, and it's also, it's um, simple. It's what it's called. And it's for sensitive skin, extra hydrated cleansing oil. No greasy residue with pure grapeseed oil. So this stuff is pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my face first. And then I'm going to use some of that to take, just to um, start off taking the makeup off. Because some of the makeup is hard to come out. So I'm going to come right now, wet my face, and I'm going to pour some of this right on my, on my hand, rub it together. I do put makeup in my neck, so I'm going to just rub this up to the open so I can show you what it looks like. See? Woo! Scary. But it, it does its job, it really helps. And it's like what it says, I need a greasy. I'm using warm water. So I'm going to put my warmer, not cold or cool. More to warm and hot. That's how I start washing my face. Okay, so you can see I still have some more. I'm going to do it one more time. I do it two times. Then go back and go in and then turn your um, face off. Okay, I'm almost there. Like I said, some of these makeup get in a washcloth. <laughs> Gotta make sure. Okay, so I'm almost there. Just wipe it a little bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna go. Then I'm going to go off and do the rest and I'm going to clean this with the um, Gardner Skip Active with the Micellar Cleansing Water. So I'm going to take some of that. I'm going to use these wipes um, also in Sally Beauty Supplies. The guys, they're getting really good with some skin care. I've been mentioning that before. And this one is, uh, it has retinol and it's anti-aging cleansing towel. So it also removes makeup. So I pull some out, right, and um, I'm going to use this, even though it had some good ingredient in there, but I'm going to pour a little bit of this in there too. That's how I do it. Pour some more. This is what I'm using. Now, try not to, when you do your face, don't like rub into it. Remember, you gotta treat your skin like you treat a baby's wiping their little butt up. That's how we gotta treat our face. Can't be rough. See, it wasn't that bad, right? That oil did a lot. This just cleans, you know, just to make sure it cleans whatever we had left. But not that bad, right? Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse that out and then I'm going to use my scrubber. Yeah. 
You know what? I'm going to take that back. I'm not going to use my scrub today. I was going to use my pumpkin scrub, but I'm not going to do that today. Usually, when I put makeup on my skin, I want to make sure that what I clean my face with, I want to um, withdraw everything that was inside my skin. Because when we use makeup, our pores are open, remember? So everything, when we go outside between the, the, the air pollution out there and the makeup that we use, our face take a toll. So today I'm going to be using a mask. I'm going to use this here. I've been using this for years. I love it. If you have extra dry, dry skin with no problem, then I will recommend them. But if you have problems with acne and, and um, like problem skin, I mean, uh, this is the best, the best. And I'll put the link down to this too. It's a, it's a powder. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix it with organic vinegar, apple cider vinegar. This is the one I use. Make sure you put this in a refrigerator. The second, the first bottle that I bought, I left it out in my bathroom for a couple of days and it got really, and I didn't even know it got spoiled, but I noticed that the vinegar was getting darker and darker. So to me, it told me that it was no good. So what I do is I got a container that I keep in my bathroom. I'm going to pour, and I just pour this a little bit inside here because it's not just to do, I'm just going to do my face about this much. I think that's still a lot. Whatever I have left, sometimes I put your fish away and I'll save for some, uh, at least a day or two. I'll, I'll do it again. And I'm going to pour it. I'm going to shake the um, vinegar, the apple cider vinegar. And I'm going to pour some in there, enough to make a paste. So that's what you want. Like a clay. You know, when we use the clay mix, so. I have a little brush that I bought in Sally's, Sally's Billy, and you want to make it not too dough, but more like a paste, a little bit more. I want you guys to see everything and the consistent that you know that I'm, um, that I'm looking for. I don't want to make it too much because I don't want it milky. You see how it sticks to the uh, brush? It's get well. You know what? This is good. I'm gonna show you. Let me just get that out the brush. This brush is not, I don't recommend these. This brush is a little rough. This is like the mixing to dye your hair with. So I put the, I got my, yeah, I have, well, all the makeup brushes, I'll probably use one of them and start using that on my face. But you know what? I use my hands. I, really, I just use this to mix it. So this is what you want. You want that, you know, uh, consistent that it doesn't drip or more like a paste. Sometimes what I do is, it's so crazy, but some, sometimes I'll take um, some of my syrup and I add it in there. Like, I'll take this here. It's by Timeless. I'm sorry getting close to these guys. Um, and it's I got a hyaluronic acid. I have to look at the word so I can show you what this thing is. But see how empty it's getting? I got to order some more. Sometimes I'll put some in there. I know I shouldn't because the purpose of making this mask is to uh, withdraw all the stuff that you have. But my face, it's not dry. So I just put like three drops, just three drops. And then I mix it with my hands and start adding on. In the mirror that I'm facing my mirror that's in front of me. It, you know, you should more focus on the problem that you have more. Uh, I have to count my blessings. I don't have that problem. I never did have that problem. Um, with you know, my skin is so clear, but as we get older. You have little things like this that helps the skin. So I do it for, you know, just keeping the skin still keeping going to get, you know, like so, like this time that, like I said, today took a beat. I put makeup on my face. I went outside, deal with the air that's out there. So today I'm going to give myself a good deep cleaning. And I consider this a very deep cleaning. 
Now with this here, you can make you can uh, make little smiley faces, grin. So if you're angry or happy or crying, do not do make those expressions. Otherwise, it'll stay like that. This thing is dry real fast and real stiff. I'm talking about stiff. So you give yourself five minutes, and I'll come back on this one. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you what it looks like. See how stiff? This is exactly what your husband wants you to look like if you want to talk back to them. Can't make any expressions. He loves when I, he loves when I use this. <laughs> it's a joke. But this is what it looks like. Right now, I'm going to rinse it off. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back and I took off the mask. God, it feels so shiny, so clean. It's dry. So I'm coming. Um, I'm gonna use my toner. As um, I haven't changed, I have, I'm not switching over. I'm gonna use the uh, Neutrogena. Sorry, the Neutrogena Refine because I happen to like this. Um, I also have this one here. I like it too. You can see I've been using it. The bottle's been almost there, but I'm gonna use the Neutrogena. Sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna come with that. I like this container, guys. Only a dollar. What you do is pump, pump, and all the liquid is in your cotton or your pad. And then roll it in your chest. I love when you don't see any dirt when your skin is nice and clean. So I fan my face, make sure um, when I use the tone, um, the, the syrup, I like to have my skin nice and dry. So now what I'm going to choose, what I'm going to use first. I am going to use first, you know what, I'm going to use my Retin-Off from Ordinary, my favorite stuff. I guess I showed you guys. Um... And this is the advanced retinol 2%. You know what? I like to shake this. I want to tell you, some of the product, you need to put in a refrigerator. And um, I'm going to show you the two that I usually keep in the refrigerator. Well, three, because I'm learning the hard way. And I hope you guys, if you decide to use it, or you are using it, and you're using it, and you're not realizing that it's spoiled. Um... When you fight spider, I always look at the color and I always look at, I always smell it. Just in, just in case, because like they said, some of these um, products may not have this, the stuff to keep it um, a lifetime or maybe a year. It's the Lectine Acid 5%. I noticed this got spoiled because of the smell. When I first bought it, it smelled like coffee. And then as time went by, the smell went. I couldn't tell the difference of the, of the, of the color. The caffeine solution for the eyes, I noticed the smell, not the color. The color didn't change, but I noticed the smell also. It was just not that smell. I don't know. Just I like to I, I gotta have it smelling and looking at the color of my product. Especially the 100 percent organic cold pressed rose hip sea oil. This is another one from North Donnery. I kept this out, I half a bottle, I threw it out because I noticed it had an old oil smell to it. So these are the so far three products that I've been put in the refrigerator and knock on wood, it's been doing well. So if you guys are, you know, went through it and not realize it, you know, keep your eyes open. So, I'm going to go into the lactic acid 5% because I already did the, uh, the retinol. I forgot to put some in my neck. The retinol in my chest. Okay. And then I'm going to go with the uh, lactic acid 5%, also by Ordinary.
I don't know, for some reason, I used to do my ears, and I don't know what it is. My ears are so sensitive. I was, I was getting pimples, like really hurting pimples. So I had to watch what how I use. Because they say it's good to do your ears, you know, your chest down here. I mean, every, I mean, it's good. It's good. Okay. The next, I'm going to use my, oh, this here is by Therma E. And it's um, anti wrinkle vitamin A, vitamin A, the letter A, with uh, it's a night syrup, so you can sleep at night with this. I put a little bit about this much. I like it. I put it also on my lip. Okay, now here's a tip on vitamin C. I know I use my vitamin C in the daytime, but I also use it at night. I do not buy, I mean, if I do buy a product that has um, vitamin C, I do. I do buy some um, syrup does, but 100% vitamin C, this is what I use. I get this in the drugstore, CVS, the one I go to, I don't know if you have a store called Nate. Pharmacy and ATS. I'll link that down, but that's where I got mine from. And what it is, it's in a dark bottle, which is a good thing. And I keep it in my medicine cabinet. So what I do is like if I'm spring through a state. This is this is the state, and this is the the season. So what I do is that was my husband. This is what I use. And then what I do is, I take some water. Sometimes I use still water, but that's okay. I put some water in my hands, and then I rub it. Because now it feels grimy. So I rub my hands together until I no longer feel the grime. And once I don't feel that, I start rubbing this all over my face, my neck, and my chest. Now, what's so good about this, and, and for those, I'm going to be honest with you, it does get sticky if you don't mind that. But I can guarantee you, this thing helped my skin. I'm, I'm, I, I can't tell you. I love the way my, when I wake up in the morning, and especially when I do it after my makeup. I love it. I love it. So I don't mind the sticky. After a while, the sticky will go away, but it feels like a sheen that you still have something in your face. I'll be honest with you. It really is. But there's a trick to that. If you don't mind the sticky at night, try to do it right before you go to bed. So at least, you know, once you close your eyes, that's it. You're not going to feel it. It's not going to be uncomfortable. So if you decide to use this in the morning, what you can do is use a moisturizer. And then when you put your makeup, the moisturizer is going to take that sticky from you. But that um, whatever moisture with sunblock, with Sunblock, I strongly recommend that. Uh, and I know most of your women, you know, do this. But those that start in um, sunblock, you have to use anything, any moisturizer should have at least 30 to 40. If you do higher um, SPF, do it. It's so good for, you know, you're protecting your skin. Okay? See how sticky it is? Yeah, I know. They're like, see, I don't mind. I don't mind. Because what's in my face is, is really good for my face. So what I'm going to do is, um, I forgot to use my caffeine solution for the eyes. Since it, I took it right off uh, out of the refrigerator, it's nice and cold, which is a good thing. So I used my, my uh, ring finger, which is my weakest finger. It's not too late to put it on, as always. So I, surf, I do my um, circulation like here around. They want to get to the center of the part, I just give it a swipe while I'm pressing it down. Then I tap, I put it under my knee and eyelid. Then I push up, very soft, I'm not doing it hard. Pat down, and then my bones right here from under my eyes, with that puffy area, I do give it like a massage. I massage there. I don't know what it is, but I just love the way it feels, and I feel like it's helping me. And wherever I have left, I put it between my uh, forehead. 
See, now the, the, the syrup with the vitamin C that I put in my hands, in this area, I don't feel as sticky. Where it says, after you put your lotion, you don't feel anything. Um, I wanna make sure. Now my rose hip oil, I, I'm not gonna, yeah, um, I was gonna use it, but I, you know what, I might. Let me see how it feels. I have a product, I think I have it down here. I also bought it in Sally's Beauty Supply, my favorite place. It's, I'm telling not only for hair, but they're also getting into selling um, skincare there. You gotta go, especially your sheet mask. You'd be surprised what you get, you know, what you get from there. Now this here is by uh, Freeman. It's a beauty infusion brightens overnight mask. This here you sleep with. You do not rinse out, just like your sheet mask. It had hibiscus, which I never knew hibiscus. It's a deep hydration, also good for your um, for your skin. It has high hibiscus plus vitamin D. It's an instant boost, loosening, um, correct discoloration, which thing I don't have improves your skin tone. We can always improve our skin. So now the sticky thing that I tell you, I still feel it. I'm going to use this. I was going to use my rose hip oil. I might use it right before I go to bed because I'm not going to bed right now. And I take a little bit of this, rub it on my skin. Now that stickiness, sticky that I had for the pregnancy, I don't feel it. It's gone. So, I think when you combine this 100% vitamin C, I put in a little bit more because I want to put some in my neck. So, just a dab. You don't need that much. And that's it. This is my nighttime screen. Like I said, um, depending on how my skin feels tonight, when I'm ready um, to go to sleep, I'll put the 100% the organic cold press rose hip seed oil. This by Ordinary also. This thing is so good. The only thing I'd be honest with you, there's a slight little thing now. Um, the smell. I know this, but I'm not the smell the way it smells. Is I think any type of syrup or some sort of oil, like at night when you, like in the middle of the night, I gotta have it just using the bathroom. I kind of get like a smell, like an old smell kind of, I, you know, with something spoiled. And it's not because it's spoiled. I think it's the oil that is sitting in your face. I don't know what it is. That's, that's why sometimes, I'll be honest with you, I'd rather use syrup at night than using any type of nighttime moisture. Because I feel like, and, and, and don't get me wrong, because they say that at nighttime, the moisture, um, is, it, it penetrates better and it absorbs into your skin because you're relaxing, you're sleeping, and that is so true. That is so true. And if you don't mind the smell and your sponsor doesn't mind the smell, like, I mean, to me, I kind of wake up and I, my, you know, like, it's, like, I have a smell on me. That's what, that's what it feels like. I don't know. But you know what? That doesn't bother, but... I try to stick with the syrup at, at night and the moisture in the morning. And if I decide to put a nighttime moisture, I do use a moisture. I use that that I just mentioned. I have the Lugidina, the night cream. I use eat that. And there's a few that I have that, um, I have this one. I'll show it to you. I don't mind. I have this one. I bought also at the Beauty um sally's billy supplies is retinol and it's also an, uh, a night cream no, i'm sorry this one is a day cream i didn't get the night cream and this has um retinol day cream and it has spf 20. um this one here i use this as a night cream by retinol i use a lot of moisture that has retinol or vitamin c or peptide because all the syrup i'm using has that already so that's why i don't put so much at night because i'm already adding all the syrup Anyway, stop with the chit chat, Evelyn. So I want to end this here by saying thank you for watching, stopping by. I hope you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends. I'm telling you little by little, I'm going to get better and better. So my next tutorial will be a DIY. Can't wait to show you. Have a great good night.